comments by a veteran Liberal candidate have reignited the conversation around Liberal leader Justin Trudeau and his blackface scandal. Ontario Liberal candidate Judy Scro has now issued an apology, but not before her comments resurrected a controversy the Liberal leader must have hoped was behind him. The CBC's Olivia Stefanovic has those details for us from Ottawa. So first of all, what did Scro say, Olivia? Andrew, in an interview with a local Toronto radio station, Scro was asked about the blackface controversy with Justin Trudeau, the leader, doning blackface and brownface. And Scro suggested that what she's been hearing from people in her riding when she's going door to door canvassing is that these images are flattering t to them. Let's take a listen to what she meant by that. In, in, in knocking on doors and being in the plazas and talking to people to make sure that I'm as sensitive as I need to be mm -hmm. if I miss something. And those in the black community have told me that how much more love they have mm -hmm. for the prime minister, that he wanted to have a black, but he took great pride in that too. And that it's the, it's the media that have blown this into something that it shouldn't be and that they are very supportive and they're actually looking for finding more ways that they can show how much they support and love the Prime Minister. Andrew, these comments from Scro are receiving a lot of black back, uh, backlash. Uh, a lot of people were hurt when they first saw the images of Trudeau in blackface and brownface from that Time magazine article, which published these these photos. And, you know, the Liberals thought they were behind this because it's been a few weeks now and they didn't take a big hit in the polls from this. But now this controversy is resurfacing. So what kind of reaction have we heard? Well, we've heard from NDP leader Jagmeet Singh. He did not hear this uh, an apology from Scro before he made comments on her, on her, what, what she had to say in this interview with the Toronto radio station. But we we heard from him uh, originally. He was the first leader to denounce Trudeau's uh, blackface and brownface comments uh, uh, photos when they were first published. And now he is the first federal leader to denounce these comments from Scro. Uh, but again, he did not um, hear this apology b b by Scro before he came out and, and denounced these, these comments. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. It is ludicrous for Ms. Segro to suggest that. It is, it is embarrassing and it is shameful that she would suggest that people like Mr. Trudeau more because he did blackface. That shows a massive disconnect between the Liberal Party and in fact Mr. Trudeau and what real people are living and what they're experiencing. It is shameful that she said something like that. So a short time ago, Scro did publish issue an apology on her social media pages. She said that her comments in the with the Toronto radio station, which in which she made these comments, were insensitive. That's what she said, and that she shouldn't have made them. She also said that the history of blackface is deeply racist, and she noted that it is nothing other than discriminatory. And she noted that this is an important conversation that Canadians have to have, and that she will continue to have this conversation with her constituents, Andrew. All right, Olivia, thank you. That is the CBC's Olivia Stefanovic, live in Ottawa.